Hi, Monday, February 8th. It is uh, day six of chemo. One of the things I wanted to talk about today was the fact that it's amazing how you're just a mess, right? Like you're just exhausted. And then on the fourth day, you seem to, you see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. It's not that it's a bad thing, you're just exhausted. And on the fifth day, you're alive again. Um, I found that my brain woke up before my body did. But I have to say that I'm still a little bit foggy. I, uh, I know that this stuff is in my system and it's doing its job and I'm happy about that. And it's a, it's a good trade-off to make that, you know, I could be a little foggy, but saving my life. So I was just thinking about New Year's Day when I came to the realization that I wasn't gonna be scared about this anymore. That was a powerful moment for me. And I think each of us gets there, you know, and all of the women that I've spoken to, they talked about when they came to the point that they accepted what was going on, they accepted that they had breast cancer, it was not a death sentence. And I, I think those two things happen at the same time, like you, you know that it's not a death sentence and you accept that this is what you have to do to get better. I don't know that, I know it toughens us up, but I don't know that we're any different than anybody else. I think it's just part of the human condition that we have to, we have to survive and we have to save ourselves. I also think that for me, having this tremendous support system around me has been game changing. I know that um, without having my family and my Jose in my life to just show that they care and, and to be so supportive and physically help me, I don't know that I would be doing as well as I am. So it's really important to have that support system. Um, In the scheme of things, you know, they talked about one year from beginning to end. It's going to be one year from the diagnosis, which was November 9th. We're already three months. Well, December, November, December, December, January, January, February. We're at the, the beginning of the, almost the fourth month. And I'm still here to talk about it. You know, nine months from now, this is going to be done. After this, there's really nothing that you could do to me that's gonna scare me. Like, what are you gonna do? Right? That's why I think when we live through this, we just become so strong and so powerful. The thing that we re really need to realize is that we are powerful. We were powerful from the beginning and we're gonna stay powerful and it's up to us to choose whether we wanna use that power or we wanna be a victim and I will be a survivor all day long. It's just how my brain has been trained. I'm not giving it up today, and I'm not giving it up tomorrow. I may go through some rough spots, but I'm always gonna come out okay. A little foggy, right? I may be a little foggy. I may not be doing my best thinking today, but then again, maybe I will, right? Maybe I'll think something amazing, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I have this silly hat with the ballies on it. Elizabeth sent it to me. No hair. It's okay. I'm going to grow that back. Anyway, be strong. You are strong. We're all strong. We just don't, we just don't know how strong we are. It's okay. It's okay. Anyway, peace out. More soon.